Hello, Robert. How are you? Good job, Tony. How are you? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Salt Lake City, Utah. Where are you? Uh, Virginia. Falls. I'm a, the Plains, Virginia. That's where we live. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Do you live in Salt Lake? That I do, yes. Good. My old friend Wilfred Brimley was from there, although he lives in Wyoming now, in a ranch up in Wyoming. Wilfred. Right, yes, I uh, I know of him, never met him personally, but he's definitely one of those uh, sort of mountain uh, mountain man types, isn't he? Yeah, he, he used to be a bodyguard for Howard Hughes. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, well, and he I, sings jazz. <laughs> he's a character. I bet you that yeah. guy could tell you some stories. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, thanks yeah. for taking uh, taking some time to answer a few questions. Um you know, uh, I, I looked at your, uh, sort of your, your uh, history, you know, a lot of great movies, The Godfather and Apocalypse Now, and, um, you know, six Academy Award nominations, won an Academy Award, but I'm thinking today's got to be the pinnacle of your uh, career being interviewed by a golf blogger. Right, yeah, that's all right, that's great, man. Are you a golfer? That I am, oh yes. Oh yeah, that's true, so many, so many all over the world it seems like. Yeah, now, do you play the game? No, sir. No. I don't. I have, I've done a lot of athletics in my day or whatever, but way, 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 way back I did a little bit. But I am, no, I'm not a golfer. It's a wonderful sport, but I, I just know that if you take it up, it takes a lot of time. It does take a lot of time, and, and it takes a lot of patience for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. So did yeah. you have to you have to get any, uh, you know, swing tips or anything for, for the part? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I, from, from, I forget the gentleman's name, uh, that uh, was from... Uh, from Missouri, and then, then he was a friend of Lucas Black's, who's like a pro for him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, 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 I guess, yeah, I even read the other day that when Tiger Woods is coming back, he has a swing professor that goes with it. I, I, it's hard to believe, but even he has a swing instructor. Oh, sure. I don't always get to teach a guy like that, but I guess there's always something. Well, they have they have swing instructors, and they have uh, uh, mental game gurus that, that give them some kind of zen coaching you know it's it's amazing what they'll go through but there's big money to be yeah, won i don't think nicholas did that because somebody told me on the set which was very revelatory to me that nicholas when he came in if he had four things on his mind that bothered him he might as well stay home if he had three things maybe two things he'd do pretty good if he had one thing on his mind he it was bad and he could he could finish in the top 10 then if he had no worries on his mind nothing he said nobody could beat him yeah yeah, he so that's his, interesting to me. his swing coach didn't really follow him around much like uh, like they do now. You know, he he might give him a tip, but they did. You know, these days the the swim swing coach stands by him on the range and you know is talking yeah. to him on every shot. I, I think that would get in my way. I mean, I can't, I couldn't work that way yeah. as an actor. I couldn't work that. Actually, I heard that Jack Nichols in high school was the hundred yard dash champion of Ohio. Really. With those stocky yes, legs, I, huh? I read that, yeah. Good athlete, yeah. No, I mean, I, I couldn't have a good... I mean, I'm on my own when I do a movie, and any problems that come up, like having something on your mind, like Nick Claus said, I, sometimes I, I don't mind that because I can turn a negative into a positive as an actor. Sure. And use it. And use it. So so in this, in uh, Seven Days in Utopia, um you know, speaking of, of, of that sort of thing, what was what you enjoyed about the part and what were the challenges of, of playing Johnny Crawford? Well, it was, a, it was a good part to play. I mean, uh, when I went into it, it was a little bit, like I said, like white bread from the novel. I said, you got to give me some faults. There's only <laughs> one Jesus Christ. Come on, give me some give me some drama. Give me some conflicts. You know, weaknesses. You know, he had a wife and they, he had, had a drinking problem. That was not in the original script or the story. So, but, you know, I think you need that. Hey, to to you know to have uh, you know to make it to make drama, you know sure. you, you can't just have like it can't be too like neutral. So that's what they did when I asked for that, and that was a nice, nice, nice uh, story. A nice, uh, and I love working in Texas and nice down on uh, Lou Waters Ranch. It was beautiful down there in Utopia, and also up, up a little further north in the hill country. So as a package, and what drew me to it too was. It's the first golf movie ever where you have a the lead actor, Lucas Black, who can really play the game. I don't know of any other golf movie that you have a guy who's a scratch golfer. Right. I, I, I did notice, I mean, there are a lot of golf movies where the player's swing fr from from a technical standpoint is not very good. 
But his no, his I'm, was good. I mean, I mean it was very realistic. Yeah, he's 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 he's, in it. he's an interesting guy. He's one of the best young actors in America too. That's my third time I've worked with him. And uh, he, uh, when he did all the pretty horses, he wanted to be a professional bass fisherman because he's great with the outdoor. He does. Why he said he could beat the world champion in the turkey call, and he's great at all that stuff. But he played one round of golf when he did, but twelve years ago when he did uh, all the pretty horses, and then he was hooked. So yeah. he really went after it with a vengeance, you know. And he's he's a great young man. He's just wonderful. So you, you mentioned you mentioned the Wonder Bread thing, and that that's something I thought about a little bit in the movie is that. This movie doesn't have any uh, any violence, no sex, no explosions, no CGI effects. You know, uh, so what what is it? What's the message? What's it in this movie without all of that stuff? That's gonna that's gonna make it a, a good film. Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, they're, 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 I just worked with Billy Bob Thornton, where it's the opposite of that, where there is sex in it, where is there is some violence and. And it's one of the great experiences of my life, which I won't go into, working with Billy Bob. Yeah. This other movie, Seven Days in Utopia, is what you say. It's, it is it is pretty neutral when it comes to all of those things, which is okay. But you have to look at Shakespeare and all, you know, and, and all the great literature and, and history. There there are those things of sex, violence. and uh, But sometimes it's thrown in our face in a very graphic way now right. in films, in news, in literature, in the daily newspapers, so it's maybe okay to have a film that's uh, that's uh, pretty devoid of all the, of all those things. Sure. And once sure. again, I, I did take the part by saying, "Give me some faults." In right. the novel, the guy had no faults, and I'm sure the real Johnny Crawford in life did have some weaknesses and frailties. So they gave me some, which made it more believable. But uh, it's nice to see a film that doesn't have all that especially gratuitous violence or sex or whatever. Right. Sometimes it's necessary to have some, but not in a gratuitous way. Right. Hollywood it many times just throws in your face. Right. It does all the thinking for you, you know. Uh, yes. Yeah. So what's what's on your uh, what's on your schedule now? What what are you working on? Well I just finished a film in Atlanta, Georgia with Billy Bob Thornton, one of the highlights of my career, which is uh, was really uh, very unique experience. Once again, the opposite of this. Yeah. I say, don't bring your preacher to it, but, but yet, yet he might enjoy it. So, I mean, yeah, if Billy Bob so, Burton's in there, yes. So I've been working on that, and then uh, Scott Cooper, who did uh, directed, and I helped, I produced uh, Crazy Heart with Jeff Bridges. He's got another project coming up, a Christian Bale that I'm going to be working on and be in. So, you know, there's always something around. I've got a few things lined up, you know, and uh, I'm tapering off some now at this point in my life, but there's still some good stories to be told, and I'm being offered things that are just as good as I was offered 15 or 20 years ago. Well, that's that's great. I mean, to, to have continuing, you know, uh, gigs flowing in has got to be a good thing. Well, you know, I mean, an athlete has to stop at 25, 30, 35 years old, maybe 40 at the most, but an actor can go on and on and on, you know, as long as you keep a little hungry, you could keep going for a long time. Amen to that. Well, hey, thanks. I appreciate your time. And, uh, you know, if you're ever out here in Salt Lake, we'll have to, you know, look me up and uh, I'll show you around the mountains. I'm looking for Boise State to beat Georgia in the opening game. Boise State, yeah. You know, well, I'm a Ute here uh, in Salt Lake, and uh, so I got a little sore about Boise State after last year. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, they, you mean? They, they crushed us last year. Well, and, and, and that phenomenal quarterback, I mean, it was the guy who kicked the extra point who missed the game for him. They were going in. a very, very good, very good team. Oh, you're talking about yeah. You're talking about Montana Montana State game, right? When they no, they played or, Nevada, right? Or Nevada? Yeah, that was Nevada. That's right. Yeah, that was a heck of a game. They locked up and, they, and, they, and the guy blew it on an extra point and a field goal. So yeah, yeah, and that can happen. That can happen. They have a terrific pass to that kid. Yeah, well, he's gone now by though. Georgia, isn't he? A few years ago when they went down there, but I, this year I think it might it might be different. But they're very good, well coached, well coached, uh, Boise State. Yep, yeah, that that they are. All right, sir. Well, hey, I appreciate it. It's very Thank good you. to talk to you. Yeah, you bet. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Take care.